Let's welcome him, and the stage is yeah. Good afternoon, guys. So it's an honor to be here with all of you. So starting with the introduction, uh, my name is Jasminder Pal Singh, and uh, about the bug hunting, I do it occasionally. Occasionally, you know, when I'm out of money, I do that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, full time, I am a web developer at our own company. Apart from that, I manage the company Web Services Point that is in Punjab. So let's start with the topic here: bug hunting journey, journey with the Google VRB. So it's an amazing journey. We will start with the fun part here. So I started in 2012, and uh, this was this was my first bug: cross-site scripting. It was nowhere a cross-site scripting. Let's see. So I am saying the Google security team that. Put the encrypted script here yourself. Yeah, I am saying them to put the vector yourself and test it. There is a vulnerability. <laughs> yeah, I, and it, the reply was like, "Of oh, drop it. It doesn't work like that. You have you have to send us a valid vector." So yeah, it started with this. And uh, since 2012 to 2018, I reported 29 bugs in total. And uh, it turned out to be valid box 19, duplicate 06, and uh, I got rewarded for six vulnerabilities. And it turned out nine were invalid and three were out of scope. And uh, the good thing that Pranav uh, told that the vulnerability research grants. So it is amazing motivation. I got five grants here, and uh, it was like. Uh, That thirteen hundred thirty thirty seven dollars each. So it's a great motivation for motivating the researchers. Yeah, one thing I was here in uh, in the reception, like uh, they were saying that they sent an the email to many people, many researchers in uh, India, but there are only two persons presenting here. So I would like to request the one who got the email. Uh, we should present here, and uh, you know. Make our country feel proud, more proud, because I know there is a talent. There is a great talent in India, so we should present in the conferences like this. This. So starting with my favorite bug, it's like YouTube editor dome-based self-executed stored access as vulnerability. So it is categorized into three different categories of cross-site scripting. I'll elaborate that. So the vulnerability details are: it's in a YouTube video editor, which is discontinued in September 2017, and as I said, it's a uh, it's categorized in stored, dome-based, and self-access. We'll go with, over with the technical details after that. This is the simple vector that I use. So the status of the vulnerability is fixed now. Now we got here. So the vulnerable parameter here is the image name. If you see here, um, the first frame dot png, uh, it's the vulnerable parameter. That is the name. Okay, we have a live demonstration here. Um, can we play the live demonstration? No. Maybe. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can go through. Yeah, we can go through. Yeah. I think it should be. Uh, we have a live live demonstration. Uh, oh, for, sorry. You seen the reward? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> So I prepared the slide as a backup if things doesn't work. <laughs> so yeah, it's here. Yeah. So we have the initial vector here. I passed it in the file name um, by using a Linux operating system. We can assign this type of file names. And uh, the response from the server, Google server, it returned out to be like this. So they sanitized it properly. But and uh, then after that, you know when. You, you see, and gt, it's the greater than sign. It is rendered uh, renders like this in the browser, right? Now the third thing that that made the execution possible that when this thing is passed to the another DOM element, it will get executed because on the third stage, it is now a good vector. It is properly sanitized, but when it is when it is passed to the another DOM element, this vector will work because. It is rendered properly. There are greater than signs, less than sign, everything. So that is how it goes, and uh, the execution was successful, and uh, I got this reward. 
Yeah, that's a nice one. Thank you, Google. Keep rewarding. <laughs> yeah, so this is a, a method that I use to test any application I start with. So, as I said, I am a web developer too. So, I, the first thing I do is to have a web developer view on the application that uh, what could be the technologies they used and how they did the development stuff. So, this is my first step. Then I move over with the linked application. In a very old law, uh, there is a great Google uh, security researcher. Uh, he mentioned that you have to find the applications that are connected to the application you are testing. There was a bug in uh, Google Google Drive, yeah. It was importing the videos uh, from the other website. So what I did is I uh, uploaded a video uh, on the other website with a vector. So when it is imported to that, it executed on the current application. So this second point is very important. You have to find the applications that are linked with the current application you are testing. And it is always possible and sure that there are there must be applications uh, where the, uh, the content is being, gra being grabbed from the other applications. So this is the second step. Then we have the, uh, yeah, uh, shared uh, sorry, shared inputs. That is what I said, other applications that see uh, what are the shared inputs that are being from, grabbed from the other applications. We got to test that and uh, start injecting. So yeah, in the last slide, I would like to thank Google because it's a big reason that our startup that we started in December 2015, that uh, the rewards from the bug bounty are helping a lot and uh, the grants and the rewards, they are helping us to grow. Our company name is Web Services Point. We are providing all kind of web services there. So from the core of all team, our team, WSP team, we thank Google to keep this vulnerability reward program alive. And uh, yeah, once again, the request is the same, that let's, let's present ourselves on this stage uh, if you are into Google, uh, you know, bug hunting. It's a great platform. So. Thank you so much. In the uh, last slide, I'd like to give the credits to the template developer who developed this beautiful uh, presentation template and uh, the photographs that are used are from Unsplash. And uh, thank you for greeting me for these minutes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.